my name is Chris Winston here at Project Tech, and this will be a brief reminder of where to go to post charges to work orders. This will enhance reporting and provide you with better data for analysis around work orders, locations, assets, even dollar usage per GL account, which is especially useful if you are utilizing maximal budget monitoring, which was added back in 2017 to the core product. I've included a couple extra videos that are much longer and dig more into the details around this for uh, quick reporting as an example and purchasing for work orders. Um, but for this, we'll just take, uh, we should be done in about 10 minutes. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at where this mostly happens. Charges for a specific work order show up on the work order actuals tab in the sub tab here for labor materials services and tools which is the bulk of the charges that will take place on the work order in general they can all be added here uh, with one exception so whether you're in work order tracking or you're in quick reporting even labor reporting you can use to report your labor, but just labor. Uh, but the exception is really around um, direct issue materials and services. And uh, in, in all services in, in the case that need to be charged to work order, as well as direct material, material or direct uh, items. Uh, they're going to be um, posted from the receiving application when the receipt's complete. And we'll take a look at all those uh, right now. So let's go ahead and keep in mind, anytime you need to do this, you need to make sure that in the charge to section on the purchase order, the work order number or the work order number and task are included uh, in the procurement record. So we're going to take a look here at work order 1287, labor, materials, services, and tools. They're all empty now. Uh, and in fact, let's go ahead. Tools and labor we'll just handle here. Materials we'll do uh, from an inventory issue, which typically be a storeroom. Uh, however, you could do materials here as well if you don't have attendance storerooms. But we'll go ahead and use the probably more common method in the case of a storeroom issue. Uh, for right now, we'll grab a tool that we're going to stay on the page and let's say we used a hoist for a couple hours. Of course, the hoist would be set up in the uh, in, in the tools application uh, where you would actually, actually set the specific rate. Uh, we'll say this tool was used for a couple hours. We'll save that. And over on the labor side, and we'll go ahead, let's say Snyder did a couple hours. All right, so Snyder. And of course your uh, labor, your labor rates are set up in the labor application. Uh, let's see, Snyder did two hours. The rate technically can be overridden here, but otherwise it'll be set uh, based on what's in labor, which may be inherited from the craft. Uh, and it's a first class mechanic. And we'll go ahead and grab one other mechanic, uh, Barry. And also, and of course, uh, your typical field assistants to select uh, records are going to be there. This, of course, grabs Barry. It's pre filtered because it was typed in. And if there's nothing in there, and we get everybody. And if you want to filter on mechanics and first class, you can do that as well if you need to find specifically someone else. All right, so we'll save that. That gets our now our tools and our labor on. Let's take care of our materials. We'll go over into the inventory issues, inventory usage application, excuse me. And we'll be a storeroom person, and we know our work order is 1287. So rather than look through everything, we'll just go ahead and look for our individual work order, 1287. There it is. 
the plan material is already here. We'll go ahead and complete this issue. And from here, then these materials will now be issued as a status. The usage record is complete. So we'll go back to the work order for just a minute and we'll just look at it in quick reporting. 1287 and it's here. And on the material sub tab, there are all our parts and labor and tools. So we're getting our charges posted correctly. Uh, last thing we need to look at is receiving. And again, we could, you know, ferret through and try and find the purchase order in question. But since we know we purchased at line level and referenced the work order, we'll go ahead and specify the work order number. And there it is. We're receiving services. We'll go ahead and select the ordered services, just some additional labor time. And we've only used a couple of those hours for now. So we'll just receive those. Have to remember to check the box. There we go. And of course it says receiving an inspection is complete, uh, but we need to make sure because it's right now, it says receipts are none at the high level. And it's probably because we haven't saved it. So let's go ahead and save. We've got a partial receiving. This record's now read only. So let's go back into work order tracking. And our work order is 1287. Going over to the actuals tab. And we see we have our labor charges, our materials, our services and our tools. And we can also view costs and they're all rolling up rather nicely. So thing to keep in mind, so for the most part, you know, work order tracking or quick reporting will cover most of your charges. You can do pretty much everything there. Uh, the exception is gonna be the services tab. Uh, your services will be handled based on the receiving of those services that come through a purchase order. And of course, the thing to keep in mind uh, with regards to that particular purchase order is really going to be, oh, let's get back to that particular part. Yes, right here. The charge to section, you need to make sure that that work order is there. Now. It really needs to be there at the time you approve the purchase order. Up to that point, you know, you, you could forgo putting it in there, but once you approve the purchase order, so it's there when you do the receiving, that's really the last time to make sure that that is input and that should get things done for you. Thanks very much and have a good day.